Hey, what's up, everybody? Time for another Following the, che the Teachings of Jesus. Following the Teachings of Jesus. Doing my Jeremy Fragrance impression a long time. I'm sorry, dude. I got to talk shit about the guy. Actually, I don't normally wear this. I'm normally an all-black kind of dude. But do you know I still get stopped in public? And I, I don't actually dress like this in public now. You know what I mean? But um, I still get top stopped in public, and people ask me, to take pictures with me and if I'm Jeremy Fragrance or not. That's not a joke. That actually happens. Like those videos that I've showed before, I've stopped recording people because I feel like I'm being trolled. And obviously I still got to talk shit about the guy for scamming the community and stealing money from people. And just the, the whole Jesus thing is just such a fucking, um, just like a, an evil person, right? You know, it just, it, it, it bugs me. It, it's, it's like a bad it shows like a bad part of like society, so to speak, right? But okay, yeah. Following the teachings of Jesus. Maybe this will get my fragrance video views, something like this. Okay, I don't know. Where do I start? So anyway, more sort of normal clothes. So long time no fragrance video. I'm gonna do a video um just going over a sort of first impressions of some sort of hyped fragrances in the community of the past so many years. And uh, I've always said before, I still like fragrances. I still enjoy them. But when I had gotten COVID the first time, and it's going to be not quite, it's going to be three years in October, um, you know, I lost my smell. And I still don't have 100% of my smell. I would say I'm like 80% or something. So I still enjoy fragrances. But even up to that point, you know, because I'm generally paying for everything, because I don't give good reviews automatically, so companies won't send me things, you know. So it, fragrances are expensive, and I just don't have the money for it. It's not that I don't like fragrances, but I am lucky enough that um, a palm tree, desert rose, cactus, whatever we're going to call this person, has taken pity on my soul. And they actually have given me the extravagant luxury, luxury of... Uh, they actually send me fragrances, and if not for them, who knows if I would even be into fragrances anymore because they still send me fragrances sometimes, which I'm very appreciative of. So thank you. You know who you are. So let's go over some fragrances that get talked about in the community in, uh, in the past few years, and I'll give uh, my impression of them. So there's this fragrance fragrance from uh, Scent of Wood, Plum and Cognac, um, that won some fragrance award. I actually like that one, um, that one, very sir syrupy, boozy, super thick syrupy plum, um, boozy. Um, it does have a little bit of that wooden cognac kind of smell, so a little bit frothy. And then it kind of goes into almost something like for me, say, I'm going to say it wrong, I don't speak French, like Frank Bouquet, Frank Bouquet, Frank Bosley. However you say it, his uh, tobacco fragrance, which I actually like that. So I think this one is actually a pretty good smelling fragrance. And they also have that not as talked about as much, but I, I smelled a few fragrances from their house. And they have that praline and maple, maple, I can't speak English, praline and maple, which is kind of like a breakfast version of um, by the fireplace. So I actually did like that one as well. Another one that was getting some hype in the fragrance community for a little bit, although a lot of the reviews, they looked kind of suspect, was um, the Unique Luxuries Marshmallow. It's supposed to smell like a s'more. I don't know about you. I smelled it. Um, some of the reviews kind of looked a little bit suspicious when I was reading them. Um, I don't think it smells like a s'more, but of course, I've traveled to different places in the world, and I can tell you that even when I go to Japan, I've tried many different kinds of s'mores in Japan, and it's not what you think of like when you're in America. So I don't know what kind of s'more they were thinking of when they tried this, when they made this, but to an American nose, doesn't smell like a fucking s'more to me. But I don't think it smells bad, but I would say it kind of smells like, imagine you and your friends are gonna go to a campfire and make a s'more, but your friends forgot the graham crackers, they forgot the chocolate, and only one of you actually brought the marshmallows. So there's not even enough marshmallows to go around. So you're basically kind of a, just a smoky sort of campfire with a little bit of marshmallow. I mean, I, I guess, you know, I don't want to make this too long because I got like 10 fragrances here. But I don't think it's a bad fragrance. I think it smells fine. 
I actually almost would say it almost kind of even leads towards something like kerosene's black melt, which I, I like a lot, but I would rather just wear black mail. I'm not saying it's a clone or anything, but actually kind of smelling it, it kind of has a somewhat similar vibe for me. But I already have black mail, but um, again, I think it smells fine. I just think it's like misleading and I think the reviews are kind of suspect on the house from what I've seen a lot. Um, besides that, I've seen stuff like Monsera, like Tonka Cola in the Amoir Cafe getting hype. Tonka Cola, I tried that one. Um, I think it's fun, but it's not something I would wear. I think it's like when you smell it, it's definitely got that kind of Coca-Cola, fresh sort of almost zesty sort of cola smell at the beginning. But it's so strong to me, it smells kind of novelty-ish. It smells kind of fun. It's, it's more fun than I think it actually smells good. It's not something I would really care to wear, although the dry down, when it becomes more cherry and tonka, I think smells okay. But I actually think it smells kind of a, as a novelty scent, but I think the name is fitting, if you like the name. For the Amoir Cafe, I saw that was getting some hype. I do think that smells good, and it should be right up my alley, but it just smells all right to me. It smells, for lack of a better description, I think it is very... Monsera esque it definitely smells like a Monsera fragrance if you smell it um i actually think it smells a little bit there's a bit of like a waffle cone and vanilla smell to it more so than like a coffee fragrance like the coffee is quite light to me but it does smell it, it's supposed it's supposedly supposed to smell like some dessert that i cannot think of offhand but i think it smells good but it just didn't totally click for me i don't feel like Maybe again, you know, I've smelled so many fragrances in my life at this point that uh, I just think it smells good. If I, I'm sure if I smelled it when I was younger, I'd be like, oh shit, yeah, like sign me up. But I actually smelled a lot of waffle cone and vanilla actually more so than coffee. But not, not that I'm saying that that's bad, but whatever. And definitely smells like a Montserrat fragrance if you know what I'm talking about. I've seen the Zhirzhov, Tony Iomi, Iomi getting a lot of hype past couple years or two or some shit like that totally over my head not even going to waste my time when i got the samples of it i'm like did i even get the wrong thing that's how much i was like what the fuck is this whatever something that was basically for me if you care i've talked about before that bond number no. nine i love new york for all is actually a fragrance i like that smells kind of weird it's kind of weird but i like it it's got this, the, the opening is kind of weird. It's kind of fresh and like some sort of weird like coffee maker thing. It, there's a weird freshness to it, but then it dries down to sort of a, some sort of like a dusty cocoa pebble kind of thing. And you know, there's some, uh, what is it? Maron Glace, whatever that is, like a kind of chestnut. It smells weird, but I kind of dig it in, in a weird way. And I was sad when they got rid of it and I saw so many years ago, there was a fragrance called uh, New Bond Street that came out. And I've seen some people saying that it's just New York, I love for all, in a new bottle. And smelling it myself, again, I only have 80% of the smell probably I had since, you know, when I was younger or before COVID, I should say. But without getting the little small decant that I have of that left and trying them arm or arm by arm, I do think they smell pretty similar, so it could be that it's just a reimagination, but if you like that fragrance as well, I don't think you'll be totally disappointed if you try it. Like me trying it, I'm like, oh yeah, this kind of reminds me of it. I don't know if it's 100% similar, but it is similar-ish, and I was like, oh yeah, this kind of reminds me of it, right? So that's a weird fragrance that one of the more weirder fragrances, like there's some, there's something kind of off about it, but... I actually kind of enjoy it. For some of the designer fragrances that I've seen that have been getting talked about the past few years, you have all the uh, Givenchy stuff. They have like both societies and they have Gentleman Reserve. Was it Gentleman Reserve or Gentleman Reserve Privé? And they were okay. I, I like the opening of the Reserve with the whatever is the kind of the amber color bottle. But I, I will say for me, it doesn't remind me that much of the Rome Intense offhand, but you know, there's different versions of the Rome Intense. I can sort of see it, but not that much that I've seen in other reviews, but I kind of only really like the opening, right? The rest of it's just okay. But some of the other big ones I've seen, why 
YSL, myself, a lot of people have talked about. I tried it. It's just okay to me. Again, I'm not a super fresh kind of dude, but I have heard people in real life do like it. You know, it's not just a, not just fragrance people telling you that. I've had even real people in real life tell me they like it a lot. Um, and then maybe the past year or two, the main ones I see talked about is Lamal Elixir. That's another one that I hear a lot of people in real life like. I like it as well. But again, with my disposable income, I just don't buy, really buy fragrances anymore. But when I tried it, I do like it. And another one, again, in real life, I hear a lot of people like it. But the one that I actually did, I saw it on sale, so I got it, was the Prada Lunarosa Ocean EDP. That was also gained some hype for a while. I actually really like that one. Sometimes that one smells awesome to me. I think it's a... Again, I'm not saying it smells like I agree. It doesn't necessarily smell like the original, but I do think it's got kind of a juiciness to it, right? And it's got kind of a sherbet-y, ambery, vanilla kind of smell to it. Um, there's some times that I've worn it and I'm like, wow, this smells really, really fucking good. I guess it's the popper in me. But, you know, I was like, wow, I think this smells really good. And so, you know, I was just like, I already have Ultra Lamal. If I'm going to, you know, I, I shouldn't have even bought this. I honestly don't even have the really money for that. But it was on sale. And I'm like, okay, I'll buy one fragrance for myself on sale for the year. And so I got Luna Rose Ocean EDP. And, you know, I like it. Sometimes... The Ola Bonham comes out a little bit too strong for me. And I've said before, after getting COVID, certain notes can kind of bother me a little bit. Sometimes the Ola Bonham does bother me. Frankincense, whatever you want to fucking call it. But um, general, generally speaking, when I've worn it, you know, generally, generally, sometimes, sometimes when I've worn it, I'm like, wow, this smells so fucking good. Anyway, so that was my favorite designer of the past couple of years that I've tried. Um, so Goldfield and Banks, I don't think I ever did a review on Pacific Rock Moss, but you know, that's a little bit older than just a few years, but I do like that. I've gotten compliments on it in real life, but some of the more recent ones, Sunset Hour, just okay to me. You know, I got a little small sample. Don't mind wearing it when it's gone. Once it's gone, it's whatever. And the Ingenuous Ginger, Ingenuous Ginger, whatever, how the fuck you say it, dude. You know... If you've ever gone to Japan or lived there for a while, it's inevitable, at least I feel like for me, smelling this much ginger, I instantly thought of, remember, it makes me remember being in Japan because there's so much ginger stuff in Japan, especially if you go to eat sushi and you get free ginger, you know, to kind of cleanse the palate. And even when, you know, I'm not like a big pop drinker, but, um, you know, I've tried the Japanese versions of pop you know, in Japan, and even I feel like Canada Dry, the ginger's stronger, and they have, like, ginger actual, they have, like, a ginger kind of pop, whatever, there's a lot of ginger shit in Japan, and inevitably, smelling this much ginger, I'm like, I'm thinking of Japan <laughs> automatically, so there's almost a little bit of funk to it, like, something smells a little bit off, but you know what, when I've worn ingenuous ginger, whatever the fuck, however you say it, my English is terrible, I keep wanting to smell it, even though while it's transitioning a little bit, even during the transitional period of it, when there's some, there's like something a little bit off about it, it smells pretty good. So I know this has been getting all some hype and some people say that it smells like another fragrance too, but can't remember that one that I, cause I haven't smelled it anyway, but I kind of like it. Part of it smells kind of weird to me at points, but it smells okay. Perfumes de Marley, they had the Pisces right the fresh one that, that one smelled fine to me i thought in the all there i will say the all there all there all there how the fuck you say it dude um i think it smells good it's uh deceptively fresh when you look at the notes i was like wow this is deceptively fresh it kind of when i think of it not that it smells the same but it kind of gives me the vibe of if i wanted to wear a sweeter fragrance during the summer as long as you're not like sweltering heat because it is deceptively fresh right excuse me so if i'm thinking of something like geez i don't know you know i, I wear a lot of sweet fragrances so i'm kind of easy going myself but say something like uh mfk uh amorous amorous or something like that that's kind of a little bit fresher but it's still sweet you know 
I've never smelled the Amaris Ohm x straight. If you've ever smelled that, let me know. I've thought about smelling that, but again, I have a very low disposable income for fragrances, so I just have never gotten around to smelling that. You know, I just I just don't have the money even for samples half the time, to be honest with you. But um, whatever. It's a deceptively fresh fragrance, I would say, looking at the notes. And I would I would also say, as someone who is not a big fan of the note of praline, despite being someone that likes sweet fragrances, the praline note does not bother me. So overall, I would say I like this one, but I more so like the dry down when it's a little bit sweeter. I would not mind if this fragrance was a little bit sweeter, but I'm so biased towards sweet fragrances. But I guess if you want my opinion, if you're looking at it, I would say despite the notes, it is deceptively fresh. And if someone hates sweet fragrances, I would not stop that from you smelling it because I don't think it's as sweet as it looks on the notes. And the praline, not a big fan of praline actually, but the praline doesn't bother me in it. And the last fragrance I'll go with, I'll do a Initio fragrance, Narcotic Delight. That was getting, you know, it's kind of sad, like I said you know, before, because you talk about I don't get samples, unfortunately. You know, Narcotic Delight, I do think it smells good. Um, I've said it before. I haven't smelled everything from Initio, but the stuff I have smelled smells at least decent to good. Uh, the company, I think, is, if, if you look at reviews, yes, I think a lot of people's reviews are fakes and they get free bottles. I mean, you know they do. When the, when the company first came out, they were sending people like three free bottles. You got to pick three free bottles, and they wouldn't even send me a sample. They wouldn't even send me a sample because I don't give good enough reviews. I still think your fragrances smell good, I think, right? Generally speaking, right? Like, there's a lot of fragrances. The Absolute Aphrodisiac, I don't have that one. You know, um, I have side effect, you know. Um, I have a decant of rehab. That smells good. Um, the Oh, fuck. Is it Mystic Experience? Is Mystic Experience the one that kind of smells like a uh, a Nasamato fragrance? Oh, fuck, I'm forgetting. That one I also enjoy. Is it Mystic Experience? Hmm. You know, I've smelled so many fragrances. I, 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 you know, I'm telling you, dude, I don't know how the fuck you see fragrance reviewers and they talk about that they can review a fragrance right, right when they get it. And they put out a review every day and they're like, oh yeah, so I just want that, that here, that here, that here, that here. And so I did a full day warrant and I know what it smells like. It's just like, I, I, okay, dude, I don't know. I'm throwing shade on fragrance reviewers. But th this is just the first impression, you know, Narcotic Delight. I've tried it a, a couple times or a few times. Um, and you know, I, I say this is why you can tell that reviews are probably pretty shady because this was getting a lot of reviews at the, when it first came out, a lot of hype and I haven't seen anybody talk about it anymore, but I do think it smells pretty good. The beginning, um, is pretty fresh and cognac -y. I guess you could say it's got that sort of fresh froth to it, which personally I don't actually care for. But I've seen some people compare it to Angel Share. And, and I know Angel Share is a fragrance that gets a lot of compliments and a lot of talk in the fragrance community. And I hear a lot of people like Angel Share in real life too. I've had a lot of girls actually tell me they like it. I don't like it. I, I don't want to wear it. If a girlfriend wanted me to wear it, I'd be like, okay, but it, you know, maybe. It's your birthday. <laughs> it's your birthday, I'll wear it for you. But generally speaking, I don't care about Angel Share, but this doesn't bother me as much. I'm not in love with the opening, but it doesn't bother me quite as much. And then you get that cherry sort of, you know, tobacco and vanilla and everything. And some people say it smells like a side effect. I think side effect, saying it smells like side effect is a pretty, it's kind of a stretch. Like I do think that, um, what's it called? Uh, Dolce & Gabbana, the one luminous night that's more of a side effect kind of fragrance I, I can see that comparison but narcotic delight saying that it smells it's almost exactly the same as side effect i don't really see that so anyway, narcotic delight i do think it smells good not totally in love with the opening but i don't dislike it you could say like uh angel share i just it doesn't do anything for me personally but anyway long time no fragrance stuff just doing some first impressions again I do like fragrances. I just, I literally don't have the money since, you know, even sampling is very expensive. And, you know, COVID, 
I never totally got all my smell back, but even before that, you know, I just, I don't have the disposable income for fragrances. And um, I'm just lucky enough that uh, a poor person, a, a person with a very, a big heart, a benevolent soul took pity on me and has been very generous with me um, with sending me fragrances on and off since I've gotten COVID uh, to try to help get my smell back. And I've never gotten it all back, but, you know, I could say that, you know, who knows if I would even, I, I might have just have totally given up on fragrances, you know, because, but they have been very kind and they've given me the, the luxury that I can actually wear a lot of fragrances pretty freely, you know what I mean, that I was not able to do so before. So thank you. You know who you are. Um, and, and to end this note, I, I should say, because I don't know the next time I do a video on it, I have always advocated for that uh, Dolce & Gabbana, maybe I'll do a video about it, but Dolce & Gabbana, the one apparently has another reformulation of it coming out that doesn't even have tobacco in it. I guess the EDP supposedly still lists to, as, a, as a tobacco fragrance, but apparently the EDT doesn't even list tobacco anymore and now says it's a lavender scent so um i know that i advocate for that fragrance a lot but as i've said before i'm advocating for the original one i can't speak for all these reformulations some of the reformulations that i've smelled are just they're, they're pretty bad compared to the original and uh so bad i'm almost thinking about do i need to try like a dua dupe or some shit like that dua you guys give free fragrances to everybody it seems like, but me, you know, actually they did give me, I, I got a bad bottle of the mobster. And when they saw that, they sent me another bottle actually. So they, they did do that. And they were like, Oh fuck. Oh shit. We sent the, he got a bad bottle. So then they sent me another one, but you know, um, I would like to try their dupe because they apparently have a dupe that is supposed to be the OG formula. If you've ever smelled that, let me know. But you know, I, I can't really advocate for all these reformulations of the one, but I've said before that fragrance, the original, it's it's insane. Like I have, uh, I had opened up my one of my reformulated bottles of Dolce Gabbana the One EDT recently, and it is crazy. It's like only half the scent the, that the original has used to be. I can go to my old bottle, smell the cap. From the cap, it's stronger than when I spray the new bottle. It's it, it's crazy. Very, it's sad, but anyway. Long time no fragrance review. Remember, if you like the videos, like, subscribe, comment, share, support the channel if you want. I appreciate it. Thanks. Do I have to start dressing like Jeremy Fragrance? I can't believe I've stopped even recording people when people come up to me and doing that because it, it's almost obnoxious. <laughs> but anyway, the end.